All right, guys, it's uh, Sunday, July 31st. Uh, back in here to permission. I haven't been back in a while. It's uh, the 1883 house. Uh, it's got a 1434 signal. And got a, it's a one-piece button. Shank fell off. No, no pattern. Things just plain. All right, first signal. I'll keep going here, and I'll let you know if I find anything else. All right, guys. The uh, next signal here was a uh, 2047. So I dug the hole down, probably probably five inches, and pulled out a nail, covered the hole, and had a 1247. And I think that, there's the nail right there. I laid it beside it, and I just got a sterling thimble. It's smashed, but I'll... It's definitely sterling. Alright. It's a good find. I'll keep going here and uh, get back with you if I find anything else. These places are never hunted out. I'll let you know. Hey guys, I moved to another yard now. Uh, it's got a 1346 down about six inches. And there's got a razor. 1948. New mint mark. Alright, I'll keep going. Get back with you if find anything else. Alright guys, the uh, next segment here was a 1039, 1040. Down about five inches right here in this hole. And I believe it's got a sterling ring. It's thin. I'll check the hole and see if I can find the stone. Hmm. I don't see any markings in it. And it doesn't appear to be plated. All right, I'll see if I can find the stone and uh, move on to the next find. I'll get back. All right, next thing we here was a 1243. That's down about four inches. It's got a old Schrader tire pressure gauge. And it says Ford on it. I'll clean that up better. Show you in the wrap up. Pretty cool find. I'll get back with you. Alright guys, I was getting a 12.45 right here. And had a clad spill. Just a dime and a zincin. Out of that hole. Took that out, filled the hole. We get a 12.45 right here. Only about two inches deep around this uh, big tree. And get a mark. Let me, uh, Pop the dirt off and spray it. Nineteen forty five, maybe. Let's see it. Forty one. Not too bad shape. New mint mark. Alright, I'm going to keep working around this little tree and see if I can find anything else. I'll get back with you. Alright guys, uh, uh, it's time for the wrap up. But before I get started on the wrap up, I'm going to do a 600 sub giveaway. Uh, I'll be giving it away next Sunday, August 7th. And it's just one one prize to one winner. Uh, it's going to be a 52 Franklin half. A 68 Kennedy half. And a 57 Rosie Dodd. You know, all the rules for it, I mean, all you got to do is comment on this video 
and just tell me you want in uh, and that's it so all right on to the wrap up uh, from yesterday and today there's the trash or junk cool little lid though might save that luster cream shampoo I found a gun 1966 ideal toy corp it's missing one side of the handle uh, a few more toys out of that yard I've been working uh, not sure what this is it's like grapes and uh, Detroit Lions pendant and then today I found a uh, tire pressure gauge it says for model A Ford I can't read everything else on it but this is cool fine. Second one of those I found. I got a <clears throat> 1950 dog tag. Yeah, I got this button. Shank fell off. Um, 30-30 and a few rimfire older ones. Uh, old ink pen. It's broken in two. And then I got 10 wheats, the oldest being a, I think a 35 up to the 50s. And I did get this play money. Then clad, uh, $1.79. Then for the good finds, I got the sterling thimble. Is size 10 right there. It's got a little bit of an ornate pattern at the bottom. And I don't know if you can read the maker's mark, it's in there. Uh, it's hard to see it. And then I got a 41 Merc. Not too bad. Shit. Plain. And I got a 48 Rosie. No mint mark. And then I did get this little, it's not marked, but it, it's sterling. And I checked the hole and couldn't find the stone. Got a pretty neat pattern on it. All right, that was the hunt for this week, and didn't get to get out much, but ended up with some some decent finds. Anyway, I'll be giving away the uh, 600 sub giveaway next Sunday, so just comment on this video you want in and. I may even throw in a, a bonus item. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good luck out there and happy hunting.